90% of Paleo players don't know every tip in this video, so make sure you watch till the very end. Let's get right into it. Most people know how to sell things at home by dragging items into the shipping bin. But did you know you can also sell most items at the general store for instant gold? No more having to go home and wait. And don't worry, everything sells at the same value, so you won't lose money by doing this. Whenever you loot a treasure chest, it leaves an empty box in your inventory. You can place them in your home plot as decor, but don't throw them away. If you don't want them in your inventory or storage, give them to Tish from the furniture store instead. This can help rid you of unwanted clutter and get you a free friendship boost too. Did you know you could teleport home instead of walking all the way back? You can use the return home button on the top right of the map once every 30 minutes. Alternatively, you can find the map boards at the stables and fast travel home for about 10 gold. Speaking of which, did you know there's another map besides Kalima? It's called Bahari Bay, where you can find lots of new forageables, bugs, quests, and more. You can also use the stable boards to fast travel to and from there as well. If you ever get stuck anywhere in the game and the return home button doesn't work on the map, try typing forward slash unstuck in the local chat. Palia defaults tap to sprint. Did you know that you can change it to hold to sprint in gameplay settings? You can also check eat when full so you can always eat more food even if your focus is to the max. Get a clean screenshot of your home by pressing H to zoom and press Z to get rid of the grid. Did you know each table in the kitchen can hold different recipes? For example, the prep table can have different ingredients from the stove and the oven. In the back room of Zeki's house, there's an arcade game that you can actually play called Heavy Metal Choppa. How many of you knew this secret? You can chop off the broken sign at your home plot using your ax. You could take pictures in game by pressing K on your keyboard. I found this one out by accident. When playing with friends or anyone for that matter, if you hit the same resource, you both get all of the loot. As long as each of you hit a tree or a node, animal or bug at least once, you will all get the loot and spend less energy doing it. Most of the shops have two separate inventories. Talking to the person will usually get you recipes, while approaching the cash register will get you ingredients, for example. The dowsing rod will show you the locations of rare forageable items for 15 minutes. Did you know this includes the location of flow trees too? You can see leaf icons in the compass on the top middle of your screen, including how far away it is from you when you hover over it. There are different statues where you can spend your renown. Phoenix Shrine increases XP bonus when focused. Dragon Shrine increases max focus. You can also purchase Ritz with Renown. If you don't see options to invite friends, then one or both of you will need to keep playing the game and completing missions, as the invite button is unlocked later in the game as you play along. I bet most people know this next trick, but just in case there's a few of you that don't, to catch bugs, you need to use smoke bombs. In order to use your smoke bombs, press R on your keyboard and equip your belt. You can ask villagers what their wants are when talking to them. If you forget what they told you, just check your relationships by pressing L and clicking on the person you want to know more about. Everyone knows tapping control can toggle between jogging and running, but I bet some of you didn't know you could auto run by pressing the forward flash button on the keyboard. There are a few recipes that can be found randomly around the world. If you want spoilers, let me know in the comments below and I'll share some locations in shorts later. Fun fact, furniture does not count toward your storage inventory count. So craft and store away till your heart's content and build up your furniture skill. Speaking of, when moving your furniture, if you hide the grid, you can get more precise placement instead of using the snap to grid feature. You can do this by pressing Z on your keyboard. Sometimes if villagers are asleep, you can still interact with them. Just walk up to their bedroom door and see if you can still press the interact button. So, did you know all the tips that I've shared with you today? If not, let me know how many were new to you in the comments below, and feel free to share some of your own, too. And if you like this video, please consider hitting the subscribe button. My name is Mimi, and I'll see you in the next one.